We're gonna give them about half an hour. I am gonna spy on them a little bit, but the camera's kind of like overwhelming. And then I'm going to, she's on a perch. Come, come, come. She's on the perch looking up at him. We're totally being invasive. Hello, my fellow sniffers, flighters, and hatchlings. My name is Marlene McCohen. This is George. And this right here is Finchie. I'll get you a close up. Finchie just had a bath because it's a very big day for Finchie. And I'm sure you guys are all here to see what's about to happen. Finchie is finally going to get to be with his new girlfriend. So we'll see how Finchie reacts. Finchie's been waiting for this day. He had a tragic life before this. His wife died, his kid died. Then he grieved and now he's getting ready. So let me show you the cage. I cleaned it up, took everything out of it, and I'm gonna show you what it is now, and then I'm gonna show you us prepping the cage for both of the birds. So here's the cage, the bottom is clean. I put just some paper right here. Basically, there's nothing in the cage. There's lots of room for things. Oh, I forgot to take out Finchie's little swing, but we're gonna put a whole bunch of new things in there now. First, we're gonna start with this cute little perch that George is playing with with Finchie. Trying to get him to go on it. Oh my God, he looks so cute in his bath. What's up, Finchie? Are you so cute? You still need to dry up, huh? Are you so handsome? Yes, you are. George, let's choose some spots to put all of Finchie's branches. So the first thing about this branch. Careful. The first thing you guys need to know is you want to get natural branches or branches that resemble natural branches in shape. You know, so they have a lot of different options for their feet so their feet won't be stuck in one position. So we have some new ones for them both and some old ones that Finchie was on. This is a real Manzanita branch that we had for Finchie along with a few others. The camera's a little heavy for me and we got some new ones which you guys saw in the last video so check that out. So we're gonna insert those in the cages along with some other things and then we're gonna introduce them and let me show you what Finchie's doing now. We'll keep tabs on Finchie every few minutes. It's okay. Oh, I love Finchie so much. Finchie's really chill. Also, I just realized you guys don't know if his girlfriend's name is Fiona or Zora. What do you like better, George? Finchie and Fiona or Finchie and Zora? I think Fiona sounds better. Finchie and Fiona. You're right. Danny, is his girlfriend's name Fiona or Zora? Zora. Fiona was married to Shrek. So the first perch George decided to put right in the middle. We obviously have lots of other perches to put around, but you remember that this might be trial and error. You might see how you feel more comfortable. You might realize when you put other perches in that they're not placed correctly. Placed correctly would be, for me, that there's not one perch directly on top of another where they can, you know, go potty on all of the branches below it. You wanna maximize the ability to keep the cage super clean, so just think of that before you put the perches in. The other thing is you want to make the perches accessible to where the bowls are going to be. So that's a whole nother thing to think through. So George is finding some spots and we'll see how they turn out. You also want to have different levels in the cage because this cage like is big enough for them to fly around, but you want to make sure that the perches don't block all their ability to fly around as well. You could keep these kind of low because we obviously have this swing. We have this perch over here. We have this one over here. He's put this perch up here with a bowl next to it. We have this swing up in the high corner. You can decide officially where all the bowls go later. We also don't have to put everything in there right away. We can switch things out just to make it entertaining for them. I got them this swing, this ladder, because it hangs straight without moving too much and they sit in it like a swing. So if Finchie wants to sit here, then Finchie can stand here. Oh, and... look at him. Did he go over to her? Yeah. Oh my God, he flew to her. Yeah. He prepared himself too, he didn't even go that right away. That's gonna be your girlfriend. Yeah. She's looking at you. We're moving the hut so that it's also next to a perch. Oh, yeah. No, look, they can meet there. No, I like, I like the what? Let's put this down here. She's gotta approve him too. Goes two ways. 
Why won't you let your beds be next to each other, George? She might need her space. Well, they don't have to date right away. They can be like friends. These four bowls in all different sections, so technically they'd each have food and each have water. He decided that if the bowls were in all different locations, it would be better kind of like foraging for them and to get them used to playing with different areas so that they climb up onto the perches and stuff. We'll see what happens. Like you gotta watch your birds after you update or change things or put two birds together. You gotta make sure that they don't, you know, feel uncomfortable, that something isn't dangerous. You have to check everything. Something falls or keeps falling, you gotta take it out the first time there's any kind of mistake. So hopefully they utilize this. Let's see what happens. All right guys, this is Fiona. Here she goes. We're gonna put her in here. First, she goes in there first. Let's give her a moment just to explore. Kind of wanna wait till she perches somewhere. Okay, there she is. She's perched, she's chilling. So I think we should put Finchie in there. You excited, Finchie? He's excited. He's doing well. She's so beautiful. She is beautiful. Finchie's like, this has made me hungry. He's happy. It'll be fun watching all the things they do and show on. Finchie, I want another kissy, Finchie. Daddy give you a bath today, yes. Okay guys, so we're gonna give them about half an hour. I am gonna spy on them a little bit, but the camera's kind of like overwhelming. And then I'm going to... She's on a perch. Come, come, come. She's on the perch looking up at him. We're totally being invasive, but I just want... Do you see? Oh, I got a visitor. <gasps> Who flew onto my shoulder? Yes. Okay guys, it's been about an hour. They're both sitting on the same perch. Okay guys, it looks like Vinci went into his house. He went into his little nest and she's sleeping outside. Good morning everyone, let's have a Finch House update. As you guys can see, there she is, she's up there, she's exploring, she's hanging out. Finchie's down here, he needs to come up and hang out. He has been though. They've both been kind of on this perch and this perch, I've seen them together. The camera doesn't bother Finchie, but it bothers her right now, she'll get used to it. So that's the update. What is the matter, Cody? Oh my God. Oh, oh my god, are you the cutest? Are you the cutest? Oh, Finchie wants me back. Do you hear that? Okay, now Finchie's up and eating breakfast. Looks like George gave Finchie an apple. She got an apple too. Well, they're very happy. I'm gonna keep you guys updated on everything that's happening in the Finch house. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell twice, ding, ding. And then maybe you'll get some notifications and get to see updates on what's happening here. Don't forget to like and comment if you want to see anything new or see more about the finches. Let me know what you want to say. Really? That's interesting. Do you want to do an interview with mommy? I'll ask you questions. Shut up. Oh. Can you say, enjoy this pick me Marlene submission? Yeah. I love you guys. Bye. Yeah.
By the way, don't forget if you guys are looking for an amazing bird food brand for your bird that is healthy, organic, and not full of food colorings and sugar and peanut smash, check out Marlene's signature blend. I did this along with Topps Parrot Food. We just launched in the UK. Northern Parrots now sells our food. You guys have been asking for it, you got it. Also, Things for Wings in Canada sells our bird food right now. I'm proud to announce and they will ship it to you. I encourage you guys to check out out my feathered fun box. It's a passion project. It's a subscription box that comes with parrot toys for your bird and also special merch. Kind of like my dream box. Honestly, I put so much into it. I love that there's something like this for birds out in the world. That's why I created it. www.featheredfunbox.com. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for listening.